Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? Solution from here. From what we are given, we have x square minus y square equals to 36. Then let's note that x and y are a member of natural number. Applying the difference of two square here, we have this become x plus y. Then into bracket, open bracket, x minus y, then equals to 36 from here. That is, we should note that here, x plus y is greater than x minus y. And here, we can write 36, the factors of 36 uh, we have 36 times 1 then we can also have 1 times 36 or we have 9 times 4 which also we can have it as 4 times 9 or we have 12 times 3 or we have it as 3 times 12 or we have 8 times 18 times 2 or we have it as 2 times 18 now when we consider these factors here when we follow this that is the first bracket is greater than the second here this is greater than the second this will work this will not work because the first year is less than the second. Also, this will work. This will not work here. Also, 12 is greater than 3. This work. This does not work here. Then here, this work as well, and this does not work. Now we have to consider 1, 2, 3, 4. That is four cases here. We have case 1. We have it as 36 times 1. Then case 2, we have that as 9 times 4. Then we have case 3, that is 12 times 3. Then the case 4. We have that as 18 times 2. Now let's look at this one after the other. From what we have here, then case 1 we give us into bracket x plus y, then open bracket x minus y, we then be equals to. 36 which we write as 36 times 1 then here it implies we have x plus y to be equals to 36 here then x minus y equals to 1 then we can solve this you know simultaneously by eliminating y so when we had here we have x plus x, that's 2x, then y has been eliminated, equals 2. When we sum this, we have 37. Now, divide both side by 2 here, we have x equals to 37 over 2. And then, yeah, this is not a natural number. So, when we find the value of y2, we will not have a natural number. So, this will not give us what we want here so we reject this side since it is not member of natural number now for case two as well we have x plus y times x minus y now equals to nine times four then which implies we have x plus y equals to nine and we have x minus y equals to four also, when we solve here simultaneously, 
and eliminate y by adding so here we have 2x equals to 13 here and from here as well divide both sides by 2 we have x equals to 13 over 2 this is not a natural number as well so rejected as well then in the same way we look at the case 3 there and for case 3 we have x plus y times x minus y will be equals to 12 times 3 here which implies we have x plus y equals to 12 or we have and we have x minus y equals to 3 now solving this also simultaneously by adding here we have 2x then equals to 15 on this side the y will side by 2 we have x equals to 15 over 2 this is not a natural number as well so rejected from here to then we look at the case 4 now and here we have x plus y times x minus y we it be equals to 18 times 2 from here that is we have x equals to x plus y equals to 18 and we have x minus y equals to 2 now also solving this simultaneously by adding here we have x plus x that's 2x equals to 18 plus 2 here that's 20 and divide both sides by 2 now here 2 cancel out and we have x equals to 10 from here so this is a natural number then we can get the value of y2 from either the first or the second equation let's use the second equation here from x minus y equals to 2 then y we then be equals to when we take minus y here that's y so that's x minus 2 equals to y which implies y equals to x minus 2 that's 10 minus 2 and we have y equals to 8 so therefore the solution we desire to find here which is x comma y will then be equals to 10 comma 8 so here we have the solution to this problem here as s comma y equals to 10 comma 8 from here so thank you for watching don't forget these steps and also subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now